This is how the professionals do it. It does have a bit of a funky smell. Quite lumpy. Okay. Huh? Oh, disaster. Hello everyone, welcome to my kitchen, or should I say my boulangerie? Is that the right word? Is that the French word for bakery? Mm. I don't know. I think it is. Anyway, I just moved in here a few days ago, so I thought, let's get this kitchen messy. Let's make some baked goods, fill my freezer so I always have something to go to, make myself feel more at home, and bake. Join me, won't you? I've had some bananas sitting in the window, so they would ripen quicker. And honestly, it only took like three days and they're nice and spotty. I could wait a bit longer, but no. So if you haven't guessed already, I'm starting by making a banana bread. I famously make this banana bread. No, not famously. Every week, every week. Cause I need to have, oh sorry, I really don't like the smell. Because I need to have it in the freezer at all times in case I want it for breakfast. Cause it is one of my go-to breakfasts I have on rotation. Oh my God, I haven't even mentioned. I've got KitchenAid. I got my very own bloody KitchenAid. I promise I'm not a spoiled brat. I'm extremely grateful for the KitchenAid in my life. This one's an artisan one. Count them three bananas. These are quite big as well. Are you ready for the first time I've switched this on? Like I haven't tested it out at all. <laughs> I have goosebumps. Eggos, but you can always use a flax egg. My guys, I'm kind of thriving. I have so much kitchen space and I get light in the morning, which I can't even tell you how happy that makes me. I do not look at the recipe for this anymore because, well, first of all, it's a really easy recipe to remember, but also, I, once again, I make it so often. This has a handle. So I'm actually gonna use um, sunflower seed butter today instead of almond butter, just cause I have it. I can't resist a brand new jar. Okay. Oh, thumbnail. <laughs> Come on now. Ooh. I'm sorry, what? I love it. Do I have a apron I could be wearing? I haven't mentioned, but I'm planning on making three different things. That's just the right amount, I think. Four, too daunting. Two, boring. One, lame -o. are you kidding? I really wish I would stop doing that. Three is gonna be perfect. What am I doing? I've got KitchenAid. Yes, a separate bowl for the dry ingredients because we are professionals. I also have pre-ground oat flour because I feel like that's what Nigella would have. You know, I'm gonna use the whole last jar, aren't I? A whole teaspoon of baking powder sounds like a lot, but I promise you, it's the secret as is salt. One thing I find myself doing here is cleaning as I go and that goes for like cooking as well. Whereas when I lived at my mum's, I would sort of just leave every cupboard door open, everything out on the counter. Much to her disdain. And quite frankly mine as well, like I don't like mess but I seem to create an awful lot of it. But here I'm just tidying as I do things which is wild. A new personality trait unlocked. If my mum sees this she's gonna be furious. A lot of cinnamon. And when you think there's enough, you add more. This is super thick, but we like that. We like that about it. It's also because oat flour is like one of the most absorbent flours because oats like, well, like double in size when you add liquid, don't they? And this is another case of one of those optional, not optional things, um, chocolate chips. We'll add more to the top. Right, I'm about to do something here that honestly may not work. It probably won't work. I'm gonna bake this in the air fryer for a few reasons. I don't wanna waste energy by using the oven because it takes ages to heat up and I'd have to have it on for longer. Also, I forgot to preheat it. <laughs> I also have a new air fryer with a basket big enough to fit in a loaf tin, so I might as well test it out. So wish me luck. Silicone, we love. This is definitely gonna go wrong. At least it fits, I mean, that's that's kind of wild. Just about. That will burn on top, almost certainly. So I'll probably add some parchment, but not right now. 160. So I haven't checked on it yet, but it does smell <laughs> slightly burnt. So why don't we do it together? Why don't we have a look at the uh, disaster? Huh? Oh! It didn't burn. And it looks like it's cooked in 20 minutes, so half the time of the oven. I mean, just another reason why air fryers Continue to rule my life. This is a lobster claw oven glove. My lord. I think it's cooked all the way through. What a triumph. I have to try, it's not cooled down yet, but. Let's go. I think I prefer it in the oven. Sorry, don't mind me putting a knife in my mouth. Do not do this at home. 
Can you see this? Okay, I've changed into actually an incredibly see-through little number, so I'll just try and keep my hair in front of my shoulders at all times. Okay, so I know you're desperate to know what the next bake is gonna be. I'm thinking beetroot, no, yes. Red velvet cupcakes, but using beetroot because I have beetroot. Oh, and get that banana bread beetroot cupcakes. Mm. Fruit and veggies, wow. But don't be put off because um, these are gonna taste amazing. Obviously, we're gonna blend some beetroot. Already cooked, so if you don't have already cooked beetroot, then you're a goner. About two of these plus juice is gonna be half a cup. I have made these before, but it's been a while. One thing I find myself doing here is cleaning as I go. And to this, to help it blend smoother, we're gonna add the ingredient that I add to most bakes, yogurt. We want a thick yogurt, so you can get like a Greek style yogurt or a coconut based yogurt. This is actually, this is a dairy free Greek alternative, which is not my favorite. I'm gonna be honest. So it's, oh, it's okay in baking, but like eating it by itself, not really a fan. I probably prefer to use a coconut yogurt in this case, however. Adapt, overcome. How gorgeous, vibrant, sexy, stunning, powerful. Okay, let's do the dry. I am gonna use three different types of flours, but I'm gonna make no apologies for it because I've said this time and time again, if you want a good gluten-free Blake, oh, who's Blake? Bake, you're gonna have to blend different flours. Your average Joe, plain flour. I'm going third of a cup almond to add some much needed fat to this bake because so far, no fat. <laughs> Red velvet is chocolate flavored, isn't it? It took me about 20 years to realize that. I'm not alone, I'm sure I'm not alone. Look at this vat of cacao. Quarter cup, teaspoon baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda. And what I am gonna do, fellas, is I'm gonna add a splash of apple cider vinegar to this one because I'm not planning on using eggs and when it's a gluten-free and vegan bake, they don't tend to be as fluffy. So if I add an acid like vinegar, it's gonna cause a reaction with the baking soda and help it bubble up and rise a bit more. By the way, don't take what I just said as science or gospel because I'm pretty sure I've just made it up. Why is that good? Sugar. This is gonna be a pretty sweet bake because the beetroot's sweet, the sugar's sweet, but we're not gonna apologize for it. Ready for this? Snow. Divine. Drop vanilla to the wet mixture. And I took the liberty of making a flax egg ahead of time because I'm making this one vegan. Quite lumpy. I'm gonna blend that again. And what are we saying to this? How is it the batter is more appealing to me than any finished bake ever? Once again, Silicone Valley, we're using silicone. It does have a bit of a funky smell, but I will allow it. Should we make it extra special and put a bit of cream cheese in it? I think so. Just a little blob in the middle. Cute. Super cute, babe. And as if by magic, I will have done the rest of them. Ready? Stunning works of art. And like before, this is a job for the air fryer. Total guess how long these are gonna take. 15 minutes. I love having a big tray. I've just heard the air fryer go off. Was anyone gonna tell me that I had chocolate around my mouth? I'm a little bit hurt by that. <gasps> are you kidding me? More cream cheese, maple syrup. It's frosting time. Nice and smooth. Oh my, you're kidding me. The light is just, the light is coming out. This is so hot. Why am I doing it when it's boiling hot? The sweetest little muffin, tell you. Can't get you out of my head. Mm. You know, there is something to be said about keeping them plain. They are pretty stylish as is. But then I do have this frosting. Oh, it's tricky. You could just eat that. Just as I suspected. Very sexual, solid. What the heck? Magic. Hmm. <gasps> oh my god. I have made these before, but they weren't as good as they are this time. Bro. I'm shaking to the core. I do get a great deal of satisfaction every time a bake goes well, I'll be honest. Erin, why are you sitting on the floor? Because, mon ami, it's fantastic lighting on the floor. Oh, I should have kept them playing. That's okay, doesn't it? And for my final bake, because I just can't get enough chocolate, we're gonna do a double chocolate cinnamon roll, is that all right? A double chocolate baked cinnamon roll. Cinnamon bun. I'm gonna mix flowers again. This is buckwheat. Simp for buckwheat. Bit of oat. And then, chalky poo. Maybe one and a half. We'll go easy this time. 
salt because salt brings out the chocolate flavor. A little bit of maple syrup and then more yogurt. So this is actually just gonna be a single serve one because you know, we've picked enough for the Von Traps today. So what we're looking for here is a dough formation. Oh, I don't have a rolling pin. We'll improvise. The state. I am so sorry. So sorry. Mmm. Oh yeah. I'm kind of impressed how I've managed to adapt without a rolling pin, without any greaseproof paper. What a fine establishment of a bakery. Slightly flatten. This is how the professionals do it. Add chocolate pot. This video is not sponsored by Nush. Oh, I really wish it was though. In fact, I'll put a layer of cream cheese first. This will help stick the ends together as well. Are you seeing this? Oh, no, you're not. This is going to be outrageous in the best way. And the thing is, calling it single serve, even if it technically isn't single serve, is the best reason to eat it in one go. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> Listen here. This, I could eat raw quite happily. I could easily just say, I've made this amazing raw bake. Then we'll never know what it's like baked unless we try. We've got to experiment, but I will take a picture of it now, just in case this is as good as it gets. While that makes, I'm just gonna finish this off, as good as I remember. Okay. Okay, sir. Come on. I cannot pick a favorite. They're all my babies. The only thing I have to do is eat this one because it's the only one I haven't tried yet. Oh my God. Mm, triumphant. That's really good. Really good. Okay, I ran out of battery, but I just wanted to come on and finish by saying I think my favorite is actually the Be True Red Velvet Muffin Cupcake. But again, it just depends on the day. It depends on my mood. So thank you for watching and coming to my bakery. I hope you can actually come next time and buy something from me. <laughs> Maybe I can make some money back on the ingredients. The recipes are on my Insta if you want to make them. And uh, peace and love. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>